What is Metaverse? Imagine a virtual place where people can live, work, shop, and interact with each other, all from their home in the real world. The Metaverse is a new evolution of the internet. It can take many forms, such as gaming, online communities, and business meetings, where people collaborate through a digital facsimile of themselves or an avatar. In today's videos, we are going to talk about what is Metaverse? So let's get started. We can get to almost anything we want with the touch of a button, thanks to the devices we use to run our lives. Even the crypto ecosystem hasn't been spared. No longer are NFTs, blockchain games, and crypto payments only for crypto geeks. As the Metaverse grows, all of these things are now easy to find. Seriously, what does Metaverse mean? The Metaverse is the idea of a 3D universe that stays online and is made up of many different virtual spaces. You could think of it as a version of the internet in the future. Users will be able to work, meet, play games, and hang out with each other in these 3D spaces. Here's a simple exercise to help you see how complicated and vague a term such as the Metaverse can be. Change the Metaverse in a sentence to cyberspace. 90% will remain the same. This is because the term does not refer to a specific type of technology, but rather to a change in how technology is used. How close is the metaverse? Even though the idea of being able to interact in a virtual online world has been around for a long time, a true metaverse, where interactions are as real as in real life, is still a long way off. Bill Gates, one of the founders of Microsoft, said in his annual Year in Review blog post that most people don't have the VR goggles and motion capture gloves that can accurately record their facial expression, body language, and voice. But Gates thinks that most business virtual meetings will move from two-dimensional square boxes to the metaverse in the next two to three years. The metaverse is a 3D space where people appear as digital avatars. Why are video games linked to the metaverse? Video games are the closest thing to the metaverse right now because they focus on 3D virtual reality. But this is not just because they are 3D. There are now services and features in video games that can be used in other parts of our lives. There are even virtual concerts and meetups in Roblox. Players no longer just play the game. They also use it for other cyberspace activities and parts of their lives. For example, 12.3 million people took part in Travis Scott's virtual in-game music tour in the multiplayer game Fortnite. How does crypto fit into the metaverse? Gaming is the 3D part of the metaverse, but it doesn't cover everything needed for a virtual world that can cover all parts of life. Crypto can provide the other important things that are needed, like digital proof of ownership, the transfer of value, good governance, and easy access. But what do these actually mean? Some video games already have some simple solutions built in, but many developers find it better to use crypto and blockchain instead. Blockchain is a decentralized and open way to deal with the issues, while making video games is more of a centralized process. The key aspects of blockchain suited to the metaverse are Number 1. Digital Proof of Ownership You can quickly prove ownership by having a wallet that has access to your private keys. To prove your accountability, you can show a transcript of all transactions made on the blockchain during work. Number 2. Digital Collectability We can prove that an item is unique and original just as we can identify who owns it. This is crucial for a metaverse that wants to include more real-life activities. We can create objects that can be reproduced or forged with NFTs. Number 3. Transfer of Value A metaverse must have a secure way to transfer value that users can trust. Multiplayer currencies are less secure than crypto on the blockchain. A reliable currency is required if users spend a lot of time in the metaverse or even make money there. Number 4. Governance Users should also care about being able to set their own rules for how they use the metaverse. In the real world, we can have a say in companies and vote for leaders and governments. The metaverse will also need fair ways to run things, and blockchain has already been shown to be a good way to do this. Number 5. Accessibility On public blockchains, anyone from anywhere in the world can make a wallet. Unlike a bank account, you don't have to pay or give any information. This makes it one of the easiest ways to keep track of money and a digital identity online. What is the difference between the internet and the metaverse? The internet is a network that includes billions of computers and millions of servers. Internet users can communicate with one another, view and interact on websites, as well as buy and sell products and services. 
The metaverse does not compete with the internet. It's simply built upon it. The metaverse allows users to explore a virtual world that replicates the physical world using technologies like virtual reality, augmented real, and AL. People browse the internet. However, it is possible to live in this metaverse. Even governments could expand their reach into the metaverse. Barbados, for example, plans to open a diplomat embassy in Decentraland, an online world that is relatively unexplored by most countries. Many services are being created by the internet, which has led to many new ones. Why does the metaverse involve holograms? When the internet first came out, it was made possible by a number of technological advances, such as computers being able to talk to each other over long distances and web pages being able to link to each other. These technical features were used to make websites, apps, social networks, and everything else that depends on those core elements. And that's not even mentioning the convergence of interface innovations like displays, keyboards, mice, and touchscreens that aren't technically part of the internet, but are still needed for it to work. With the metaverse, there are some new building blocks, like the ability to have hundreds of people on a single server or tools that can tell where a person is looking or where their hands are. These new technologies can be very cool and make you feel like you're in the future. What are metaverse examples? We don't have a single connected metaverse yet, but there are many platforms and projects that are like the metaverse. Most of the time, these also include NFTs and other blockchain features. Let's look at three metaverse examples. Second Live. Second Live is a 3D virtual world where people use avatars to meet new people, learn, and do business. The project also has a place to trade collectibles, called an NFT marketplace. As part of its first anniversary, Second Live held the BNB Smart Chain Harvest Festival in September 2020. Users were able to check out and interact with different projects in the BSC ecosystem at the Virtual Expo. Axie Infinity Axie Infinity is a play-to-earn game that has helped people in developing countries make a steady income. If a player purchases or receives three axes as a gift, they can begin farming for the Smooth Love Potion token. When sold on the open market, a person could make between $200 and $1,000, depending on how much they play and the market price. Even though Axie Infinity doesn't have a single 3D character or avatar, it does give users the chance to get a job, like in the metaverse. Decentraland. Decentraland is a digital world that you can visit online. It combines social aspects with cryptocurrencies, non-fungible tokens, and virtual real estate. On top of that, players are also involved in how the platform is run. NFTs are used to represent cosmetic collectibles, just like other blockchain games. They are also used for land, which is a 16 by 16 meter piece of land that users can buy in the game with mana. All of these things together make for a complicated crypto economy. What's the future of the metaverse? Facebook is the most vocal voice for the creation, a unified metaverse. Due to Facebook's deemed stable coin, this is especially relevant for a crypto-powered metaverse. Mark Zuckerberg explicitly stated that he plans to use a metaverse to help remote workers and increase financial opportunities for those in developing countries. Facebook's ownership over social media, communication, and crypto platforms gives it an excellent start to combine all these worlds. Google, Apple, and Microsoft are all aiming to create a metaverse. Further integration between NFT marketplaces, 3D virtual universes, and crypto-powered metaverses seems like the next step. NFT holders are already able to sell their goods on multiple marketplaces, such as OpenSea or BakerySwap. However, there isn't yet an open 3D platform. Blockchain developers may develop popular, metaverse-like apps on a larger scale than large tech companies. That's all for today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so that you never miss any amazing video from us.